Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Got a little mail call today. I say little, I thought it was going to be little, and it was actually a little bit bigger than I thought. And the products in it, I'm quite excited to use because I haven't used this before. It comes highly recommended. Most people that are into the vintage products and just into good products in general, absolutely love this soap. Now the soap in that I'm talking about is this. Tabac Original Shaving Soap. Now this one comes in a jar, a little ceramic, almost like a porcelain type jar. It's got a sort of bake light lid. I'm not sure what the lid's made out of. But it's got that real nice tobacco scent, which I reasonably like. It's not something that I'm a massive fan of, but I do like it. It's not an offensive smell for me. It does smell sort of granddaddy, if that's the word to use. Now on top of the soap, when you take the lid off, it's got a silver foil, or sorry, silver, a gold foil on top of the soap and I'm just going to pour out the bloom water because I don't bloom water the soaking water I'm not actually blooming it although it has bloomed the scent and what it's also done is it has swollen the soap out to fill the full tub so you can see tobacco written on top of the soap brand new soap now if you live in a state in Australia where they have a TK Maxx this stuff is 995 at TK Maxx they also sent me a stick soap as well, a stick to back in the little tube and everything. And there's $7.95 at TK Maxx. And then he sent me like a natural soap, I can't remember what it is, but I will use it and do a video on it. He also sent me three packs of blades, two packs of Lord and one pack of Big Ben. I think I've used both of them and didn't get the best of shapes from them, but I'll try them again anyway, you know me. But this one, I want to use a blade that I trust. And that is Wilkinson Sword. Made in England blade. Vintage blade. This was sent to me, I believe, from memory, from Martin Rowland, who once again, I think, is from Your Mileage May Vary Shaves, or YMMV Shaves on YouTube. And the brush for today is going to be my custom brush guy brush from Matt Martin. Now, Matt Martin is, I believe, Matt, if I got it right, I think Matt's a veteran or left the army, I think it was the army or the navy he was in, it might have been, oh, I hope I've got that right. I know there's so many guys over there in the, in the armed forces and things, but he stopped making these under brush guy and now makes them for a couple, I think he makes them for West Coast shaving and he also makes brushes for Lucky Shave, not Lucky Shave, uh, what's it called? I can't remember. Anyway, let's get it soaked and let's get it lathered up. Strike, strike gold shave, maybe, something like that. Because a heavy tub of soap. And here we go, my first ever use of tobacco shaving soap. Just dip the tips again because it's really dry. I'm going to do the full thing today on the, on the channel. I was going to use the rhodium knot again, the hand tied knot in the ceramic handle, but I've decided to give it a, a real good air out over the next day or two. And then hopefully my brush will arrive and what I can do is then just not use that one. <laughs> Dry it out and then it'll be on its way up to Craig Stanley and face fat before it heads back to Surya. I'm going to load this nice and heavy because I've never used it before. One great thing about synthetic brushes is you can really beat the crap out of them inside the soap without really a problem of losing any fibres or shedding at all. They can just take a beating. Now this one's got a 24mm Game changer knot, I think he called it. It might have been the boss knot, but I can't remember. Right, scoop all this stuff from the sides. There is the brush loaded. Just going to wet my face. I'm actually quite excited to use this. It's not an overpowering scent like the, the aftershave is. It's probably, in terms of scent strength, around about a five, four or five. So it's not going to knock your socks off the scent, but it is a uh, it's a, an acquired scent. It's not something, like I said, that everyone's going to love. You, you'll either love it or hate it, I believe. I don't think this is a this scent has any middle ground. All I'm doing here is just rinsing out the soap and the water. And so, as you can see, you can probably just about see where it says tobacco on there. But I've worn that down quite a bit. And the soap is swollen up to the full width of the bowl, which is great. Right, let's get the brush. Oh, this is really thick. 
This is really thick. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting it to be this, this creamy and dense, just straight off. This is really, really dense stuff. Now, of course, I've recently acquired Mitchell's Wool Fat and love it. I've heard this stuff is absolutely sensational as well. I'm actually enjoying the scent. Someone mentioned about it being a barber shop, and to be honest, it does actually have a barber shop type thing. It's a very powdery scent to back. It does have quite a floral scent to it. I would borderline say it's almost feminine, if you're allowed to say that these days. But I would say it's a borderline feminine type scent. I'm not saying that it would smell nice on a woman. By any means, I, I, I would certainly wouldn't want to be caught in public with my wife smelling like this. But it's got a very potpourri sort of powdery scent to it. And like I say, it's not going to be a scent that everyone loves. I can tell you right now, this lather is going to be exceptional. Whether it's going to shave exceptional is a different matter, but the actual lather itself is going to be great. Now it tastes exactly like it smells, except it's got that sort of bitterness that you get from the soap. I talk about it like I eat soap quite regularly. I don't mind the taste. So all I'm doing is dipping the tips of the brush and painting the water in. If you can hear my aircon going in the background, look how glossy and dense that is. Wow. And that's not it's not even done. Dip the tips again. And again. So that's what I'm looking for all over, for it to be translucent. It's going to take a little while. I don't think I'm too far away though. Pretty much that's, that's good enough for me. There's so much soap building on the brush, it's becoming difficult. smokes. And that, that's a really top draw ladder. Look how thick that is. Peter Kaufman, I think it's Kaufman, I'm not sure how to pronounce your surname, Peter, messaged me recently saying, I can't believe you're finally using tobacco. I'm really impressed with this. This needs more water, but I'm not going to mess about with it. Look how dense that is. Wow. It's actually way, way denser than Mitchell's Wool Fat feels. This feels like a quality artisan soap on my face. Really heavy and dense and glossy, creamy, brilliant. Right, the car of Christopher Bradley Razor with the Wilkinson sword, made in England, vintage blade. The B plate, again, daily shaves. I've been having cracking daily shaves with it. And here we go. I've got no idea what it does. It needs quite a bit more moisture in it in the ladder. I'm just going to rinse the razor off today. Just use warm water. It's actually far too dry. I've overloaded the brush and, and underhydrated the ladder. But Jesus, even running up into the hot water, it's struggling.
just fill the sink up with hot water. I wanted to do a cold water shade, but really, the lather is just too thick. <laughs> I had quite a bit of soap left on my face there, but that residual slickness, even though there's a lot of soap on there, and you can see how much is left behind. It's really good. The scent is pretty strong. Like I say, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. This soap. I think Jack, over at the gentleman's groom room, I don't know whether he's used tobacco, will be mightily impressed with this lather. Just in terms of lather, it's better than Mitchell's wool fat. The slickness is really, really good. I'm going to add a little bit of water. And again. One last sprinkle for gluck. And again. One more, we're looking numbers five. Five splashes of water. I'll be honest, I think it needs a bit more. I'll be here all day lathering. Spend enough time as it is. Right, well, let's cross the grain. rinsing it out. Pretty much spot on now. Wow. I mean, there's a lot of soap left on there, but the slickness is just outstanding. Definitely, definitely a high quality soap. I didn't check the ingredients list. I would imagine the ingredients won't be too dissimilar to Mitchell's Wool Fat. There'll probably be a couple of things in there that aren't the best for your skin, the old titanium dioxide or whatever else they put into the products, but certainly this and Mitchell's Wool Fat are the two mass produced soaps I've used that rival and surpass many artisans. Stuff's exceptional. The lad is incredible. And a massive shout out to Stephen. I don't know whether he wants me to mention his, his full name, but he did message me on on Instagram, and he's the guy that picked up all my Sterling products. Believe it or not, I sent the Sterling stuff last week. I think it was last Tuesday, or Monday or Tuesday. He still hasn't got them. He sent me this on Monday. It's now Wednesday, and it's here. It's quite embarrassing sometimes with Royal Mail, with Australia Post. This is a really, really superb ladder.
Yeah, I honestly believe if you watch this one, Jack. I know you enjoyed Mitchell's Roll Fat and you thought it was good, but not up to Artisan level. I think this stuff's better. I really do. I think it's just as slick. If not, maybe even a bit slicker. It's really good. Why, after three years, am I trying these soaps? I mean, I'm not sure what the post shave's going to be like. Take a good one to beat Mitchell's roll fat for me. I'll be honest, I was a little bit worried at the scent might react with my skin but it has it so far. Touch wood. Got a little weeper there. Probably got a couple of little weepers around my lips now. Probably overshaved there, but I mean, not. Cold water, as usual in the summer, is lukewarm. So it was never really going to be a cold water shave anyway. The temperature has reached 40 degrees today, it was 36 yesterday, it's reaching 40 tomorrow I think, and then 38 on Sunday. No, 38 tomorrow, 40 on Saturday, and then 38 on Sunday. So we're in for some real, real hot weather. Yeah, a couple of little, couple of weeks today. I'm actually going to put that down to the blade, I'm not going to put that down to anything else. The only thing that's really changed today is the blade. The salt didn't feel like I was reacting, it's very slick. It's very protective, definitely the blades. So that blade's done. It'll be going in the bin or in the blade bag. To buckle my shoe, look at the tub for the tobacco, the big soap dish. I'm really impressed with the quality of that. So yeah, the soap, in fact I've just noticed that that almost matches the colour scheme. Tobacco original shaving soap, very very kindly sent over from Stephen. You know who you are on Instagram. I'm more than happy to name you fully at this, I mean, if that is, yeah. But, just embarrassing that I've sent him a package and it's still not there after a week and his arrives after two days and I think he sent this espresso which wasn't maybe but thank you very much I love the scent I love, uh, well, I don't love the scent I like the scent but the performance is exceptional I don't know whether you've used it yet mate but a bit of blood on it now hold it it's really high quality soap and the brush I, I love this brush I wish in all honesty I had a few more I'd much prefer to have Brush Guy on it because he's the original, he's the man that started it all. But you can still get these from West Coast Shaving, I believe. And Strike, Strike Gold Shave, I think it is. He turns all those brushes. But it's absolutely incredible. The, the resin's amazing, the resin pour. Ergonomically, number one brush in the den. It is easily the most comfortable brush to use. On the head, 
on the face, it doesn't matter, it's so comfortable at home. It may not be the most appealing in its looks. I th it's grown on me. When I first got it, I struggled with it to actually enjoy it. But I think Matt Martin has just really nailed that design. It is perfect to hold, it's comfortable, it's a good weight. The size of the knot on this one's great. Great for face lathering. It's a little bit small for head lathering, but I still get away with it. Right, post shave. It feels nice, it feels a little bit dry. It is definitely, excuse me, it's definitely not Mitchell's Wolf Fat Pro Shave. But everything else about it, from the start to finish, the lather process and everything, I would say is probably on a similar level or better. I'm going to finish with Lucky Tiger after shaving face tonic, citrus kick. This stuff's amazing. A lovely zingy citrus scent. It's got absolutely, it doesn't matter how irritated my skin is, I never get any burn from it, but it just cools your face down like I've got a bit of breeze coming through from the aircon. It just cools your skin down beautifully and really hydrates it. It's great stuff. And I don't know if I mentioned this one the car of Christopher Bradley razor, aluminium. And I've got a vintage Wilkinson sword blade in there, which is done. That'll go straight into my blade bank. And we'll move on to probably a brand new blade for the next year. But other than that, not much more to be said. Crack and soap. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.